Hello everyone. Welcome to gangs.com support. And today we are going to teach you some of the basics of KMRS. And we will be following up with more tutorials that you will be required for maintaining your current websites. And today we are going to show you a basic command or basic operation on how to install Carinthria on a C panel system or any other control panels you may have, even on Amazon or whatever it may be. So, first of all, I hope you have downloaded the Carinthria script from the Code Canyon download section and it is in your PC. So, for the very first, what we have to do is that we have to log in to the C panel or whatever control panel you're using you have to log in inside that after that first you have to go to file manager just click on file manager and it will open up a second page where you have to choose public HTML in which in where you will be hosting all your files for us we already have some couple of files here for demonstration purpose we will create a new folder but in your case no need to create a new folder you can simply upload it directly to the root of your domain that is a public html so for us let's say uh, youtube we have created a subdomain called youtube and here we're going to upload the kmrs which you have already downloaded So it's uploading to the C panel. So you have to wait some couple of time till software has been uploaded to your file manager. As I told earlier, if you are uploading to the root of the domain, for example, let's say abc.com or example.com, then you have to upload on the public HTML. As of right now, we already have some of the content on public HTML and we have already some many subdomains there. We're going to host on a separate subdomain called YouTube. Okay, so we're going to upload the KMRS on YouTube folder. Yeah, it's upload has been completed. So we just come here, reload the page and click on extract. And we just extract the page to the file manager it's extracted and you have to just open the current multiple restaurant folder and the restore multi folder here this is a source file and you have to select all and move the file to the YouTube As you could see we have moved to YouTube so we can simply delete the folders because we don't need it anymore if you need uh, to look in the documentation you can look on the local copies itself so right now we all have the files uploaded so the first thing before going to install what you have to do is that we have to make a database and connect to protected config main.php the main.php is a master file which handles all the pattern, documentation, sorry, database connectivity and almost everything on the on your KMR system. So make sure that you upload the connection file on the main.php file. This is a database connection class where you have to change 
your database parameters. So let's create a database for that. You have to use in cPanel, you can use MySQL database wizard. Just click on that and give it uh, any name you wish for the demonstration purpose. We are giving it as just YouTube. The username also just YouTube. For security reasons, we recommend that you use random names for the database as well as the username. And don't use, uh, let's say, uh, similar passwords, uh, passwords for your database. So make sure that you use a strong password for your database user. And give all the privileges and make the changes. Yeah, it's done. So a database has been created with the user Gangis underscore YouTube with the same database name Gangis underscore YouTube. So we have to change the files right here. First, we will give the password. And username and path database name is same. So we just replace a root and this one. Okay, so if you need to give any unique table prefix, normally MT is the table prefix uh, which is on a database. You can change it to anything you wish, but make it sure it is short so that it will be easy for your database to operate. So we just hit on save changes and let's have a look. It's YouTube and go. So we just uh, got an error. So we have to look into what exactly caused that error. I think this one we copied, we have been copying another some characters. So just hit on save and reload. Yeah, so all good. The page has been loaded. Sometimes you may face difficulty because this page will not load or if you click on next button, it will not go. Some other errors are there. For all those uh, fixing those type of errors, you need some advanced skills that we will be teaching you on the upcoming tutorials. So for the first, we just complete this basic tutorial to understand you how to install these KMRs. You can just simply click on next. And the corresponding database tables will be installed on the system. And click next. And give a name for your current web website. We are giving its YouTube test. Give an address, uh, phone number, email, and admin user make sure that their username and password will be strong enough for you uh, else it will be chances of uh, unauthorized login attempts on the system so we have to make sure that so once we just given the corresponding username and password and you just click on next your installation has been done and also for the, as you could see there is an important uh, announcement here you have to make sure that the install controller located in the controller section is deleted from the system before you making any other changes you have to go back to the file manager you have to go inside the protected controllers and you could see this install control.php you have to delete it because if that file is there, what happens is that anyone can reinstall your machine once again by calling this exact URL. So there's a chance of your data getting wiped out. So make sure you just delete the install control.php. And we have the URLs ready. So let's have a look. Here it is. Okay, Morris front end admin login and merchant login so these are the things we are teaching on this tutorial 
because we want to make sure this is very short and a basic one and we don't want to miss it up with any other tutorials so we need to make sure that you learn this much and on the next day we'll be posting another tutorial on how to add apis on how to do various settings inside the administration panel and uh, we will detail almost everything on the administration panel with different features what will be the file structures and everything will be detailed on the upcoming tutorial so stay tuned watch us for our channel and also subscribe our channel to make sure that you will get the latest update on Carentria and the different patches and modes available for the system and what will be the security aspects of the system and how feasible is to maintain a KMR system. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope the things are informative. If you have any doubts and queries, you can just mention it on the YouTube comments and our team members will be checking it out and helping you out with as much as possible we can. Thank you. Thank you once again. Bye.